Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre and Kiwi. Thank you so much for joining the channel. I am here with Spirit, as always, to bring light, love, and clarity from the divine. So please take the messages that are meant for your highest good and leave that which does not resonate. All right, let's see what's going on here. What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? Okay. This is really important because what's happening here is, let's say you wanna change something in your life right now. It could be um, an old habit, it could, it could be anything, right? I won't go into details, but what I'm trying to say here is Spirit is looking at you saying, you're, you're getting disappointed because you're trying to do something, change something, and it's not going the way you plan, but more importantly, it's not happening um, as fast as you want it to, right? And so with that disappointment, we get frustrated. So spirit is like, give yourself a break. If you're trying to change something about yourself, it's in the process. Be grateful that A, you've identified what you wanna change and B, that you understand it's going to be a journey to do so, right? And enjoy each little step along the way. There's something here about, look, if you don't go after what you want, then you'll never have it. If you don't ask for it, then the answer is always no, right? So this is about you stepping forward. But remember, you're not in the same place that you were yesterday or moments ago. It's living now and understanding what it is that you want to change and how you're going to get there. Look at the perceived potential outcome. All right angels, ancestors, and higher beings. What messages do you have for our beautiful Pisces? Okay. Yeah, this is what you want. You want to be the king of pentacles where you have the Midas touch, right? And so this is about you laying the groundwork so that you can feel grounded, right? And it's almost like a time to um, realize not just your potential, but how you're going to achieve whatever it is, whether it is security, whether it's a relationship, or just some sort of self-improvement upon yourself, okay? But there is a supportive um, atmosphere that you want to surround yourself with and keep that motivation high, right? So that will keep you inspired to do so. But there also can be a good person um, coming in your life or is already around you uh, that can be supportive. But I feel like, you know, your head is down and you're not seeing it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, nine, significant number. Again, this was in the reading the other day. And this is Ariel, right? And Ariel is what? She is the healer. She brings uh, beauty to not just nature, but she helps us uh, bring the, ma the, the beauty into the things that we wanna manifest, right, in our material world. This is um, like future abundance for yourself. So you're gonna be protecting what you're creating right now. That means that if there's something that you have um, that you're not ready to share, there's a reason why, right? You're kind of like, um, is still nurturing it along the way. But Ariel is also known for being the lion and the wind. So the wind is knocking off things that aren't going to be part of this new creation for yourself. And you are shielding, right? You're shielding yourself from outside um, negative forces, which is really good. But I see something coming in under the moon right now, the, the full moon that's gonna be coming. Because right now the energy I'm feeling is um, an energy of frustration and also um, like not able to identify or pinpoint why you're feeling, um, I don't know, I'm getting an upset stomach, right? So it's telling me that it, it's a nerve, um, the, the nerve endings or a nervousness within yourself. Uh, it's almost like a nervousness of anxious, okay? but. Again, only you know what that is, but I feel it's about expectations. All right, here we have justice, so we're learning how to balance ourselves. 
and Archangel Raguel, once again, is about empowering um, ourselves, empowering the underdog, right? Um, becoming the motivator or looking for somebody who's going to be the motivator in your own life, right? But this is about you standing for what you believe in. So don't give up is what they're saying because you will see the balance come. You will see the justice in the situation, okay? Here we go, yeah. Once again, we have the Six of Pentacles and this is good for you, right? It's, it's good news coming in. Um, it may be like little trickles of good luck as well. And also seeing the beauty, right? The gratitude of, but Archangel Jophiel, she helps us, um, attract beauty. She also helps us manifest and receive what we're, what we're thinking about, right? Because we're showing appreciation and we're going to bring joy in our, in our environment, which is going to help clear some space. And this is also a part where you release what no, no longer serves you. So this is really good. So lower your expectations in a sense that you're not putting so much pressure on yourself, right? Um, you still want to keep your vibrations high and you want to go for the gusto. But again, Rome wasn't built in the day. And it's taken you a long time to get where you are right now. So um, appreciate those steps that you took before. But what's happening is you're, you're doing things differently than you did in the past. And this is why it might feel a little uncomfortable because you're not going to be able to apply the same um, physical and mental act actions to get the same results you did in the past. Does that make sense, right? You have to change things up. All right, um, Archangel Azrael, this is about healing. This is, um, again, um, if you feel like you're not getting anywhere, spirit doesn't want you to sit around and sulk or feel any kind of despair, right? reach out to them, ask them for guidance, love, and support while you're going through this, right? Because A, you're letting go of the past. And again, this may not be a past person or situation. You're letting go of the past in a sense that um, you've changed and, and now you know that, right? So what do you wanna see for yourself in the near future? And how can you apply yourself now? What steps can you take to move forward in doing so? Okay, there's personal growth that's gonna be coming from these challenges that you're facing. All right, there you go. The Queen of Air. Okay, again, Queen of Air is beautiful because she is firm and she speaks from experience, right? So be firm with yourself right now. Let yourself um, be the author authoritative figure in your own life, okay? Really important here because, look, she's surrounded by so much abundance already, okay? So let go of the judgment you have um, on something that you're trying to do for yourself, but use your wise intuition to know what, what areas need to be tweaked, okay? couple more here. There you go. Look again. This is your artistry. Another three, 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 like this, right? Threes are about growth and our creativity. And they're also about lessons. So you're learning. You are chiseling away, okay, at thoughts, actions, characteristic traits that you carried before, right? You're getting down to the bear, right? This was once a stone and look at how beautiful it's turning out. This is you. You are creating the new and improved you. I like this so much. Oh my God. This is really great. Now, not only are you creating the new you, but you're going to be able to create something that you're going to be able to sing about, just like Archangel Gabrielle. She's gonna come in here and she's gonna show you what 
the beauty is that you have, that you can share with the rest of the world, right? That love, that love that you put into something is going to be able to, um, like, they're showing me an exhibit, right? Like an art gallery. So what they're showing me is you're going to be able to exhibit all of this greatness that you have within yourself and anything that you put your mind to as far as a creative project or um, job, if you will, career, whatever. And it's gonna bring some good finance, so that's cool. All right, here we go. This is your page of cups, page of water. And again, the page is fresh emotions. This fresh emotions is, again, a new point of view that you have for yourself, okay? For some of you, it could also be a new home. Um, really, uh, the dolphin is showing me, like, moving on, another direction, okay? This is also about messages that are going to be, um, hmm, they come in, like, in your head. Uh, messages about your relationships, right? Like you're going to have a better understanding of why things had to take place because you want to be the, the best version of yourself before you share. And also because when you're confident in your life, then the people that you meet, right? You know if that person or persons are, are going to be part of your circle and part of your more intimate relationships, right? Something that's gonna grow long-term, okay? Nice. Mm, high Priestess, yes! Okay, I like the High Priestess. Um, you represent that, right, in the tarot. That's, that's a Pisces card. And this moon right here, you see this is the moon phase that we're, we're dealing with right now. However, you are the high priestess, so you are identifying the emotional side of yourself, right? And um, your physical awareness. Uh, how can I say this? It's like you now know if you're sitting and your mind starts to wander, if this is just like old rattling that's going on, uh, or because, you know, maybe you, you used to use um, busy work, in order to distract yourself because your mind continued to wander, right? You're a dreamer by nature. And now you're dealing with um, finding the true sense of yourself. And it's somewhat scary because your, your energy always used to be to help somebody else, right? And it wasn't a distraction that you did consciously. It was just your caring nature. But uh, spirit is saying Pisces, it's time you care more about yourself, putting yourself first, right? That same saying about filling your cup before you can help others because you have been depleted over the years. And now, you know, you're, you're molding yourself into something that is solid like stone. Okay, one more. There you go. Again, three. What are we talking about? Archangel Uriel, I love you. Thank you so much for joining us, right? This is the light of God. Uriel is the wisest transformation, right? This is about divine magic, which is well worth celebrating. And look at the moon here, right? Over here with the high priestess and then over here on the other side. So you have waning and waxing, but uh, the full moon, which I've already saw here, where was it? Hold on. There's your fire. This is where you all, you, you know, you get to decide the newness, what you want to manifest, what you want to let go, right? But here's the cycles that you have to deal with. So Archangel Uriel is coming in and letting you know that there's going to be news worth celebrating. It's going to be a joyful announcement, right? And you see here, everybody is happily dancing. I like this so, so much better than the energy that I felt when we first started the reading. Okay, now, um, today I'm actually going to use a different set of angel cards and ask spirit what loving guidance what 
do we have for Pisces today? Thank you. All right, the first one is peace. Okay, so with our peace, this is Archangel Chamuel, and peace comes from remembering that only love is real. And you know I am all about that, right? Love is real. That's the only way me personally um, can identify what's good and what isn't good for myself, right? Because if there's not love in the situation, then there is um, like discomfort. And I always try to identify that. That's my human side, right? But again, this is about peace and harmony coming your way. So thank you, Archangel Chamuel. And again, here we go, Archangel Uriel, what we talk about right here this is uriel coming in telling you that you will have this beautiful brilliant idea right so yes your idea is extremely divinely guided okay so if this reading resonates with you and you came here thinking you know am i supposed to be doing this should i make this decision right if it feels right if it brings you joy if this is what you want then Archangel Uriel is confirming for you that your idea is worth stepping out and, and taking action towards, okay? So please, I mean, let me read this card to you. Huh. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition, okay? Confirmation, people, and one more. Compassion, clear compassion. That's the name of this channel, yes, because... With compassion, we're able to see more, understand more, love better, right? And Archangel Zekiel helps us with that because compassion with Archangel Zekiel is about understanding forgiveness. This is about remembering as well because Archangel Zekiel helps us find lost things, lost items, not just a set of keys or a pair of glasses that you left on the table, but Find that part of you that was pure and innocent and in the past, right? And bringing that back to surface, okay? This is with respect to any situation that you might be um, having um, come up in the near future, right? And any of the people that are involved, including yourself. Really good. All right, let's go ahead with Archangel Michael. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Boy, look at this. Kiwi's been beside us this whole reading. And why? She is at peace. She is happy and content today. So I need to follow her lead. All right. Archangel Michael, what advice do you have for Pisces today? Thank you. <laughs> you see this? Step into the spotlight. You have a message that the world needs to hear. Now, the last reading, we saw a picture of you standing on the stage with the lights shining down, right? And that was spirit nudging you and saying, you are worth it, you are valuable, right? And that it's time for you to step out on that stage. And here we are again. But this stepping into the spotlight is letting your inner beauty, your spiritual self shine right? And spirit is going to shine and rain down on you as well, bringing you new ideas and wisdom. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Very happy. I, I don't even want to quit the reading, but I'll just do one more card and then we'll close it off. Thank you again for everybody for liking, subscribing, and leaving your comments. And a big shout out to Denise who has been with me since the beginning and has always a great deal to share. I want to wish her well and I want everybody to give her some prayers and some motivation. All right, here we go. Jewel. Who's the jewel? The jewel is the high priestess, baby. Every event in your life presents a new opportunity to experience even greater love. Okay, so there is a jewel to be found within every teardrop, which tells me we need to shed some 
some emotions in the near future, right? But it is a time in which you and those close to you will emerge um, in a strengthened and even greater bond of love, okay? So you know who that is or who they are that you're going to share and tighten up um, the bond, if you will, right? Those that you are chained to, so to speak. So trust that there is nothing to fear and that there is only love, only love. All right, Pisces, thanks again. Have a beautiful night. Take care.